All right, welcome back, everyone. This is Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck, your host, and we are here at Q9 at Levittown, New York, out on Long Island. This is the finals. Manny Chow has won the hot seat, and the Geekster came back from a very impressive semifinal uh, showing. Uh, came from behind. Uh, he was down six to zero to Mike Deshane. Came back and made it 10-8. Mike mounted a two-rack comeback and made it Hill Hill. And Ginky took it down after Mike Deshane scratched on the break. Made a 2-9 combo, and here we are. Uh, both these players playing jam up right now. Also, uh, I'd like to welcome special guest commentators in the booth with me right now. Daniel Smith, also known as Smitty, uh, known to many of us uh, around the... Uh, uh, internet chat rooms as New York City Fats. Uh, Smitty, welcome to the show. Thanks, Ray. Also uh, joining us uh, for this match will be um, New York City Grind's own Jeremy Saucy Backer and supporter Jeff Conway. Jeff, how are you doing today, sir? I'm uh, very pleased to be here, Ray. This room is uh, so changed and improved. Anyone out there who hasn't been here recently, it uh, used to be leisure time on uh, the Hempstead Turnpike, uh, and it's now called Q9, and it's absolutely a phenomenal transformation here. And I'm pleased to be here and glad to see so many people online. Yeah, I also am glad to be here, Jeff. Uh, this has a, been a fantastic event. I'm really impressed with the room here. Uh, they have a full kitchen now, including a chef. And uh, Karen Wilt, uh, she was uh, actually on um, Hell's Kitchen TV show. Uh, she is really awesome. Been uh, rolling out the red carpet for all of us here all weekend long. This is the finals. And Ginky looking to uh, get on the board first. Well, I'll tell you, he served the balls pretty good the whole last match. And he's starting up again. Left side, breaking the balls a ton. 3-7 looks a little funky here. He went forward to try to get an angle to go into the 3-7. I think he's going to use high right-hand English and try to go into these balls and create something. Maybe even go under the 7, shoot the 3 down where the cue ball is now. safe. I don't think he would do that. He's locking down the rock. It's a good safety. Alright, uh, guys, we've crashed real quick. I've got to restart. We are still live on the recording. Uh, we, the internet has crashed. We're going to restart things. Technical difficulty. Cup Town. He's also a tremendous bank pool player. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't very happy with the way he played early this weekend. He said he wasn't playing very well, but he's in the final, so. Well, he hit it flush in the face. Looking to get yeah. lucky. Oh. The shelf got him. So close. What do you see here? Pinch this ball and shoot the three in the side? Try to go into him? Yeah, it goes in the side, so I would say that's favourite at the minute. It certainly doesn't go in this top pocket. I don't fancy Ginky to go into the balls. Unless he's got no other alternative. Yeah, yeah. Just, that's beautiful. You can play that in the side. That's a good shot. A little low right and punch it out to the middle of the table. Yep. 
This is going to be his toughest shot in this uh, this game. Phenomenal comeback in the last game against Mike Deshane. Yeah, that was a great match. He, he didn't give up there. He's, I think he's been around the block and uh, he knows all the shots. Very impressed with his game always. We were outside smoking a cigarette and he told me that uh, he played Santos Sambahan set for 3,000 a race and Santos had him 10 to nothing and he came back and beat him 11 to well, that's, that's what you got to have heart. That's what you got to do. Yeah, this looks like Gink Ginky should run out here. Keep a nice angle on the eight. You don't want to come down and get flat. Yeah. Right back to the middle of the table. Ginky will open his account for the one nothing lead. And he'll be very pleased to get the first game on the board. In theory, he should be favourite for this set. Not that there ever is, but uh, he just came off a great match with Mike Deshane and bubbling with confidence and hasn't been sitting in his seat, been playing. I agree with you. I make Ginky a slight favorite here, but I've yeah. seen Manny uh, play some very, very good players in tournaments. Right. I've seen him beat Mika. He had uh, Dennis Hatch at racks at one time. I yeah. think he had Dennis uh, 10 to 6. His, his best performance this year was at the CSI Temple down in Vegas. I was down there covering that event, and uh, he got through the last eight and uh, could have easily been in the last four. And uh, he missed an easy, missed a straight in six. And they would have been in the last four. And he surprised a lot of people in that event and put his put his name on the map a little bit. I'd just like to say hi to Dennis. Uh, Dennis, I heard I know you're out there watching. Hope you're enjoying the match. And uh, let's hope you get the nod for the Moscone Cup in a couple of weeks. The Hatchet Man. Yeah. Nick Vaughan has got the nod for the team captain, so now we're just waiting for Dennis to get the nod. He was, he was promised a spot last year on the strength of his... Um, he was the MVP last year. Yeah, he's MVP, and uh, they promised him at the press conference that uh, Johnny and um, Johnny and Nick, that on the, just on that, he was, a, he was a lock for next year. But now, everybody I ask, nobody seems to want to commit themselves at the moment. So we're going to have to wait and see. I don't know if you know this, Jeff, but me and Dennis grew up together in Buffalo. Right? Really? Okay. I was, I was in Buffalo the weekend before last. <laughs> yeah. Look at the position. He's put himself in here, yeah. jacked up over this ball. Yeah. yeah. He's going to have a tough shot here. I think he's going to have to use the bridge. This is a funky position here. I don't know if the bad hit is in play. Can he hit enough of the four to pocket the ball? It's very close to the nine. This is very difficult. And especially bridged, you know, bridged over it like that when he's only hitting the top part of the ball. Well, I think he's very adept with the bridge. Mm -hmm. If he can hit enough of the four. Might see him play a safe here, I think. I think he might send the four ball uptown and try and uh, put the cue ball behind the nine, but we'll see. I think he's shooting here. This bridge looks fugazi. Yeah, it looks a little, yeah, it's a little rickety. Rinky dinky. Or Rinky Ginky in his this case. Rinky Ginky. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I like your accent, sir. <laughs> yeah, I come out with some uh, crap. It's very dignified. Thank you. I would have thought, I would have thought Manny would have called someone who wants to shot here. Yeah, that was... Uh, he was in a bad spot. That's there. a was... difficult shot to commit to because he's, you know, he's, he's a little leery of the nine ball, doesn't want to crash against the nine. Well, my instincts tell me that Manny's going to uh, try to put the cue ball behind the seven here and use the eight as a blocker. Yeah. He may opt to bank the ball. He's quite he might, a yeah, player. He might, he might even think about nudging this nine closer to the pocket here or making it even, so we'll see. I like the safety. You can even use the eight if he lays yeah, on the... Yeah, put the four back on the bottom rail and right, come and up. Use the eight on. as a blocker? Yeah, exactly. That's a pretty smart shot. I'm yeah, because even if he doesn't get it exact, he's, he's not going to have a good shot, that's for sure. Man, he's going to protect the money. I could see him banking this ball, though. I really could. He's a very, very, very good bank pool player. Yeah. 
Yeah, Jeremy, Jeremy Soucy uh, a couple of matches ago tried a shot exactly the same as this and didn't hit it hard enough and left the nine ball sitting in the pocket. But I think he's going to play safe here. No, he's gone for the... Oh, well, he's made the bank. I told you, he's a pretty yeah. good bank pool player. Yeah, I, from where I'm sitting, I wasn't sure that went past the nine. Well, that was a great shot. Very good shot. Six is sitting in the pocket. I thought Johnny Archer was the scorpion. Yeah. Judging by that tattoo, maybe we have a new scorpion on the yeah. horizon. Yeah, this, this rack's all over. He got a little flat here. Yeah, he, 50 yard line. yeah he did. He got a little out of a little too far there, I think. He was reversing Bashir and kill his ball. Yeah, he looked like he wasn't sure whether he was going to go to the corner or the side. Yeah, he's okay. He's, he's, yeah. he's back on track. Ink is giving him it, and it's now 1 1. Well, Mr. Conway, I have to ask you, are you involved with that big Nika Shane match coming up at Amsterdam Village? No, I know I know about it. Uh, I, I, li I live out on the other end of the island, so it's like a couple of hour drive for me to come in. But uh, I, I might go in, but I think I believe you have to buy the tickets beforehand, and I'm not sure if I would will be doing that, so I'm I not have, sure. I spoke to Carolyn Powell of Mez Cues, and she informed me that uh, there will be selling general admission tickets at the front door. Oh, okay, that's good. Well, Seating anyone, is limited. Okay, well, anyone out there, what dates is that? That's. That, is I don't want to give misinformation. I'm going to say October 12th, 13th, and 14th, but I could be right. off. Just before, just before the U.S. Open. That's Correct. Right. It'll be a race to 100. Yeah. I'm tar, just a correct right. action report. Yeah, that's going to be a great match. Look at this break. Oh, man, he's got some surf too, huh? Yeah. We've actually, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead, Ray. I'm sorry. Uh, Smitty, yeah, we actually covered a couple of events that had both uh, Mika and Shane recently, and uh, Mika had been dominating on those matches. Well, as I understand it, there's a lot of debate about how they're going to rack the balls, and I've heard that uh, Mika's going to use the magic rack. I'll tell you, I've played with Mika, and I've seen him practice with the Magic Rack, and he, uh, he's he got quite a 10-ball serve with that Magic Rack. Well, he's got to come up with something to beat Shane's uh, break on 10-ball. I, I think Shane's got the best 10-ball break in the world. So. Well, I asked Dennis his opinion, and Dennis fancies uh, Shane in the game. He yeah. says uh, if he can rack the balls, he's, he's a real tough out. Yeah. Maybe we can get someone from the Internet chat to uh, give us the date for that tar match that's uh, coming up. Over at, uh, I said Amsterdam Billiards. Mm -hmm. I bet you a cup of coffee. It's the 12th, 13th. Or floor. even Justin, if you're out there. <laughs> Hi, Justin. If you're just just tuning in, this is Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck, your host, and uh, joining me in the booth right now, two of New York's finest here, not not the Popo, Smitty, Daniel Smith, and George. George Conway. Jeff George, Conway. George San Conway. George San Conway. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Conway here. Nice to have you all with us. Do you give this shot back, or do you try to play a safety here? What, what's the move here? I think if he hits the left side of the one, the one may go down. Let would just be playing distance. What can he do here? He can't really bank the ball back. Five interferes. Good. I think you got to give this back. Yeah, or, or send the ones back up town and try and drift down onto the bottom cushion. But on the, no, he's, he's hitting just above centre. You know, he's following it. Is he crossing it, trying to use the deuce eight as the wall? That's a good shot. Yeah, that's I good. Like that. I, I know he's got it as well. No, I think. You give him a window? I don't think he can make it. I think he can see it, but I don't think he can see enough to cut it. I'm just have a look at the TV. Yeah, you know, he can, he can make it. I think he can see it. I don't know if he wants to take it. We mentioned just... If we could get a sound and picture check from the internet there, we'd appreciate it. We, we mentioned... Uh, let's just see if they can hear us. I guess they can. Anyone coming up? The, uh, we mentioned about the US Open just now. The US Open this year is going to be uh, a really big deal. Um, uh, first of all, they've got the ladies in it, which I'm, I'm not sure... But that's part of the big deal. That's just uh, something they're trying this year. Uh, laid first time ever with ladies in it, in, with the men. 
but the, the biggest thing to me is three things. Uh, the first one being Mika Imminen trying for the third in a row, and uh, I don't think anyone's going to count that out. They certainly didn't think he was going to win it last year from the loser's bracket, and he came back and beat uh, Ralph in the final, uh, which actually cost me money because I put Ralph in the tournament, but that's another thing. And the other big thing is uh, Mike Siegel, who's back on his game and playing really well at the moment and won a tournament last weekend. And uh, he's practicing like crazy right now as we speak for the uh, World Straight Pool next week. And uh, the other big... And that's how a lot of people are going to be watching for Mike Siegel down there. And the other... One of the biggest things, I think, is uh, Dennis Hatch has actually uh, put his entry in and he's playing for the first time in 10 years and I, for one, have been uh, wanting Dennis to play in the uh, US Open for a long time, and uh, I'm, I'm glad he's actually going to be there, and I think there's going to be a thrill for the crowds there to see Dennis performing. Uh, so don't count Dennis out of winning. Uh, he came second, I believe, when he was like about 21 years old, years and years ago. 21 years ago. He came uh, second in a very young age, and uh, plays better now than he did then, so... It's you know, not counting out. It went 8-8, eight, eight, and I think he was 18, and he didn't make a ball on the break against Buddy Hall. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. I could be wrong. Well, luckily, you must be older than me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just 38, joking. 38, Jeff. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, I, I, me I, and Dennis I'm, are the same age. I've almost got... I was, yeah, I was thinking 30, 37 he or 38. He may be a year older than me. Yeah. But do you agree that's a pretty big deal in being there this year, I think? Uh, I'm a big fan of Dennis's yeah. game, and I love him uh, personally. He's like a brother to me, and yeah. I, I wish him all the best. And I gotta—I just want to say that when I saw his success in the Moscone Cup, uh, I almost cried for him because I know oh. how hard he's worked, and he's had a lot of adversity in his life. And I knew his father and his mother and his uh, his whole family, his uncle Mark. Uh, yeah. you know, we came up together, and I just—I love to see him do yeah. well. No, he—he really he, he deserved all the accolades he got for that last year, and. Uh, I say we're waiting for him to get the tip at the moment because uh, I think it'll come from have to come from matchroom sports in England. But uh, I don't think it's going to be long before they decide to uh, say that Dennis is in the team, and I hope he is. So absolutely. Who are the other members of the team going to be? Shane Van Bolen. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be Shane. I'm sure it'll be uh, Rodney. Rod Rodney's second in the points this year, which is good for Rodney because uh, Rodney was uh, leading the the voting last year for the they did an online vote for the last player which dennis won last year yeah dennis won but uh, he basically dennis knocked uh, rodney out of that uh, internet vote so rodney definitely would like to get back in the team this year the billiard idol yeah. i thought that was a unique way to nominate a player yeah yeah it was different and, Johnny uh, will be on the team, I'm sure. Well, Johnny's already been uh, picked. He was picked after his win at uh, Turning Stone. Um, Carl Boys of England was given the nod, and so was Johnny. That was about three weeks ago on a press release. How many players on the team? Five or six? Five. Five players. Yeah. And well, Nick, Nick Varner got the nod uh, last the week. Yeah. Yes, I In fact, I, I informed uh, Nick that he got the nod. I phoned him up to say congratulations, uh, and he didn't even know he'd got the nod. So he was, he was very surprised. I told him to go out for a drink and celebrate. That was about 9.30, about three days ago. Well, it looks like we're going to have two to one, George Sansucci here. Yeah. George is playing with a lot of confidence. Oh yeah, Josh still, great. still one of the best players around. Played great at the Expo last March at uh, down in Valley Forge. George, a true champion. Yeah, he knocked a lot of lot of good players out. He's got quite a resume. You know what I found fascinating about George following his career since he was a young man is that uh, George learned how to play by paying hanging out at Chelsea Billiards in Manhattan, mm -hmm. Amsterdam Billiards. You know, when he was starting out, he didn't always get free time and uh, all the accolades that the success brings. He learned in the trenches by gambling and paying to play. Yeah, exactly. That's I just, unusual. Most I, guys have tables in their homes or their families have rooms. Or I, I spoke to him just before this match and asked him, is he playing in the straight pool? Because he's a great straight pool player. I, I really like his straight pool game. And he says he's not playing in the World uh, Championships down in Jersey. 
which is a shame because I would have thought he'd be a contender in that. Might see him going for the combo here. Well, I got to tell you, Jeff, probably one of the best matches I ever saw George play was against Dick Lane at Amsterdam Billiards. Right. And he kicked the ball in on Dick Lane on two fouls. Boy, I'll tell you, it's, it's hard for me to think of a better shot than the right. one he made on Dick Lane. I don't know if you saw that match. No, I didn't see that. But I, I used to, the first time I ever went in Amsterdam on the west side was in 96. I was doing some work in the city and unfortunately for the job I was on, I stumbled on Amsterdam Billiards and then spent half my half my day in Amsterdam Billiards and never got any work done. I remember that that year. I had a three-month job that took nine months to finish but my pool game improved a little bit and George was out on the back table there running 150 balls every lunchtime. Great shot. Ooh, he's going to get a shot in the side maybe, pocket. Yeah. Maybe it's going to run too far. Look at this. Wow, it runs fast that way, huh? Oh, I'm going to see a safety here, I think. I think he can... I don't even think he can... From where he is, can you see the side of that? Yeah, I think he can just see the little little edge. What do you like here? Well, thin the be, ball? I think it's going to be a safety, but... Yeah, he's going to have to just thin it really, really soft here. This is touchy here. Just thin it. Come back up over the six. Nice and easy. Yeah, yeah this is... Shot. Not going to be going very fast, and that's that's a great shot. Nice shot. Can Manny see the edge Manny, of the ball? Or is he yeah, kick? but very very thin yeah. edge. And, uh, I think with that nine sitting there, he's looking at he's looking at kicking the two over to make the nine, but that's that's not a given. <laughs> well, he's taking this a little too quick for my mind, but no, he's just looking at it. The recent big tournament at Rax, which um, uh, you were there, big truck, right? The uh, the one that uh, Manny won the year before. Yes, I was. Uh, he was uh, he was two and out in that last tournament, and told me he's not been playing very well of late. But uh, here he is in the finals. So obviously got his game back. Well, you don't foul that eight there. I think he is, but no one's watching. Well, it was a valiant effort. Yeah, he didn't have much there. Yeah. Well, the good news for George is he didn't move the nine. He left it over the pocket. So, but this is no no gimme either. I think he's just going to pop this in and stop right there and maybe take a combination. Yeah. I don't see him trying to draw his ball here. I don't think he can get much draw on it anyway down there, can he? Oh, yeah. He cut can get, it yeah, he, No, he can put draw on it. Um, no, I was thinking the cue ball was right on the cushion, but looking at the monitor, he's got a little bit of room there. He's looking at drawing his ball. Well, I'll tell you, this is a hell of a shot if it comes with this. Yeah. He is pretty close to the... Yeah. He's just playing this in the side. I can't see the angle no. yeah, I think he's just popping it in. Holding the ball right there. Good shot. He's going to bank the six, cut it yeah. in the side. Cut it in the side, I think. Reverse English and hit the top of the seven. Yeah, just nudge the seven down. That was a great shot. Shows his confidence is running pretty high. Look at this, he lucked the seven in. Wow, wow. Two way shot, huh? Yeah. Little love for the gangster. Yeah, he's smiling, he's laughing. <laughs> yeah, Ginky's shaking his head. I tell you, you got a lot of bare rules in the beginning against Mike. Yeah. See, in England, they would have actually put the seven back up and said, sorry, old chap, I didn't mean to do that. And. Uh, would have made him take it over, but call shots. Don't they call that a fluke? No, I'm, I'm just joshing. I tell that to people in America, and they say, well, luckily you're not in England. <laughs> That's funny. I like fluke. Fluke? Yeah. No, I, don't have, I don't eat much fish myself. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful. Keeps in the lead. What's that? 2-1? Uh, we're going, to take Three, a, one. we're going to take a quick break, folks. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Right, we, 
we are two back. games to one. I'm sorry, Ray. Oh, yeah, my bad. Ray. Yes, uh, we're two back. to one. Three Look to one. At this break. Look at this serve. Three to one right now. Yeah. Leading. We'll get that score. Watch out, corrected. right? Goal. Oh, always oh, good. I tell you, he's serving the balls like it's 1994. Yeah. And the uh, nine's in front of that pocket again. So that's twice he nearly made the nine in that bottom pocket. I gotta tell you, Ray. I don't think my buddy Greg's gonna get that mess break you back. <laughs> I think that's going in the case, and uh, that's gonna be the end of that. He's got just a little angle here, so he's just got to be hit this real soft. Otherwise, he doesn't want to lose the one away from that pocket. Center ball. Not. It's not gonna be going very fast. He may even roll it forward a hair. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's a tough shot. Yep. Tough. Yeah, he was thinking about where he wanted to leave the one ball near the pocket and uh, forgot what he was doing in the first place there. It's, it's hard that shot. Three games to one. I thought it was two to one. Yeah, three to one. Nice little buffer, three to one. But uh, the Ginks is not too happy about the result of that shot. And it's true double elimination. Man, he has to lose uh, two races to 11 here. Watch out. Look at this. Do you believe this? Yep. I think it's stuck there. Yep. Well, you sit in the chair for 15 minutes, yep. and then you come to the table, and, and, and you got the, the cobwebs. And the thing was, he had such wow. a simple shot lined up next. He had the 2-9 that uh, probably Stevie Wonder could have made. Wow. Can you see a little bit of that, then? Or is he, is he just going to kick at it? Oh, he just saw enough of it that he thought he could uh, take the two off the cushion and just catch the nine in. That was so close. I don't know what, the, don't know what Gink is going to do here. Now, is that nine sitting up on the point here, guys? Yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, in an awkward spot there. He's got sideboards. He's going to cut this ball in with inside English and go between the three and the five and come right back to the middle of the table and anticipate. Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not thinking about the nine right now. Oh, he banked it. Look at this. Wow. I shot. thought he cut that yeah, ball away. And that got him nice position on the three, so that was the right shot. Nice shot. I'm going to tell you, this five six is tricky. Yeah, is he going to go behind the five here and go up to the four, maybe? I think he's going to end up playing a combination on the five. He might be able to nudge the top of it, but I don't think that's a good shot. Yeah, he slid out behind it. I thought he might do that. It's a good shot. But the 5-6, I think he's going to have to go for the combo. But he missed the last one, so <laughs> I know that's going through his mind right this second. Well, he's got the angle to go under it if yeah. he wanted to shoot it up in the same pocket as the yeah. 4. I don't anticipate that. I think he's just going to come back down. And yeah, I think so. Shoot the combo. Which means he's going to be running them out. Just doesn't want to lose this five away from that pocket. That's the problem. Ray, I'm going to give Ali a shot here in the box. I'm going to take a little break. I want to thank both you guys again. It was great commentating on all these matches. Awesome, Smitty. Uh, thank you. I really enjoyed it. Great uh, commentary. Ray, what you're doing for pool is awesome. Good luck in the future. I appreciate that. You're a good man. Certainly going to need it. Are you coming back? You coming back? I you may. Will? If you'd like okay. to take a break, I'll be on. I'll be the alternate. Okay. But just in case. Yeah, this this racks over. After that, the Shane Ginky match. I'm. That was a. Oof. That was a. That was a phenomenal match. That was. That was something. That was, that was worth the uh, entry money. Oh yeah, I'm glad I witnessed that. I loved it. Now this is a big lead here. Four-one. Uh, keeping Manny in the chair, not shooting. This is. Uh, no one would have said this morning at uh, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock that uh, the Gangster was going to be in the lead in the final. And this is true double elimination, so uh, Ginky's got to beat Manny twice, race mm -hmm. to 11 both times. So that's the saving grace for Denton, for Manny because at least he, he comes back in the second set. He may uh, catch a lick and uh, be a different Manny, so we'll see.
Great bait. Five ball gets in the way of the two. Phenomenal break. Three balls on the break. And gets hooked behind the five. No justice in nine ball. You can see something, I'm sure. Oh, he could see it. Oh, he's okay. He's back on track then. Probably just going to draw this back a little bit. Got just a little angle. He just wants to be careful. He doesn't scratch in the side because it looks impossible, but it could go in the side. He's going to draw it back a tad. Yeah, it's perfect. Well, if he runs these out, guys, this is going to be 5-1. Uh, That's a pretty convincing lead. Just three balls remaining. We'll just follow this off the top rail and come back and play this in the side pocket probably. Maybe play it downtown. Yeah. Just play that downtown. Perfect. Perfect. Just stop this. And uh, Manny gives him that game. It's now 5-1. One to Manny Chow, five to George Sansucci, Ginky, the Gingster. disputes over the rack between these two. There was a lot of disputes with the Deshane matches. Made the five. Switched to the left hand side a little while ago. He was about three games from the end with um, Mike Deshane. He was breaking from the right and he switched to the left. Be careful here. He can cut this in. Uh, Jeff, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, we're going to uh, bring another uh, special guest commentator into uh, the booth with us. It's his, uh, this is like a... Uh Company reunion here, all New York City grind. Uh, Allison Fisher back with us. Allison, Hello. welcome. The, the welcome real back. Allison Fisher. Wow. <laughs> of uh, New York City grind. So you could say you're one L of a Allison. I'm one because L. Because you only have one L that's, in your name. That's right. right. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Never thought of that before. I must use that again. Glad to be back. I was uh, bouncing around shooting a few photos before, and now I'm back in the booth again. Well, what do you think here, Allison? You've got uh, the Gingster 5 1 ahead. That's a pretty convincing lead, right? Yeah, that's uh, pretty much best, uh, best can excuse me, best case can scenario for Ginky right now. He Manny has left him a shot yeah, he's with uh, the one in the left top corner. It's going to have to spin out to the rail and come back for the two. Yeah, the six, seven are close together, but they both go inside pockets, so I don't see yeah, any of the balls a problem. This is this is the hardest shot here. We're just if we can just get out of this and end up on the two, this rack's over. Perfect. Beautiful. Probably reverse this and back, back across the centre of the table, play it in the opposite side pocket. 
ఆసనం తీసుకున్న I could drift down a little bit further and play it in the bottom corner. Yeah, he's weighing his options. He's not going to rush himself here. He's pretty composed. I'm not sure what he has. Yeah, he's going to play it in the side pocket. The, uh, I'm not sure what he plays on his headphones, whether they're just to block out the noise or whether he plays music or whether he plays tapes to... Uh, Tell him to motivate and pick all those good things. I'm sure it's probably music. Do you know, Alison? I have no idea. And this is going to yeah, turn Alison. out very nice. Yep. Yeah. Just draw this back a tad. Six in the side. Run through. Seven in the opposite side. Yeah, so six go in that left side pocket? Yeah. Goes in, goes in either side oh. pocket, I think. Yeah. Right, from this to, angle it's a little bit tough to see. He'd like to not be so close to the cushion, but he's just going to follow this through. Either follow it through a little bit and play it uptown or follow it in the... No, he'll play it in the Very side nice. pocket. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. He'll just run this, right in a row. run this through a little bit and follow down for the nine. Yep. We're looking at Genki taking a 6-1 lead with this shot. And uh, Manny doesn't give it to him. I guess it's a little angle and it's on the cushion, so uh, I don't think uh, the Ginks are going to miss that. Now we have uh, a 6 1, Ray. 6 1 now, Ray. 6 to 1. 6 1 to George Sansuchi. And now like the, he switched to the right hand side, uh, Allison. He's been shoot been breaking all the other breaks this match from the left yeah I was just about to say he switched back yeah. to the right side and ooh, we're not looking not looking at a ball here falling mm. for Genki that's funny and I don't know why he switched there because he was making balls before but there's really no problems here for Manny coming to the table no just got to get through come back down for the two and after that I don't see any problems at all and he's got a little angle for the one ball so I think he could just he may even just draw this back a little bit yeah he's going to just yeah, draw Manny's this going to draw this you don't want to follow yeah, that's this perfect. and you know yep. risk interfering with this is just the three join, or the seven there this is just join the dots for the look of it He desperately would like to put this game on the board. He wants to get back on the board here. It's uh, not a good position. Yeah, he ran a little too far there, but he's got a couple of pockets. He can play it downtown or side pocket. He could play this downtown and just draw it back a little. See on the back of the shirt, Manny advertising himself. <laughs> Manny Chow from Peru. Oh boy! He come out a little lucky there. He, that could have been a real problem, but yeah, that could have gotten sticky. He probably doesn't like what he's looking at now, anyway, because this is not what he was looking for. Just play this with a little draw and come back to the five. Find enough.
Just going to follow this down for the eight ball. Just got to run far enough so he doesn't get blocked by the nine. Perfect. That's a great shot there. Manu's back on the board now, so it's uh, six to George Sansucci, two to Manu Chow. Uh, he'd, he'd now like to uh, break and run about five racks, but we'll see what'll happen. Just depends how the balls lay after he breaks. You can make three balls, but still jam yourself. Manny's giving them a good look. He's looking to see if they're square to the table. What a twisted rack. actually was the one ball lands perfect on the two again I don't see much problem with this rack but remember he hasn't been at the table so much don't scratch Oof, a little close to his work there and he's in front of the pocket so he can draw it if he wants Probably going to take what he gets here. And yeah, nothing too complicated with that shot. Yeah, he's going to just play a stop shot, play the five in the opposite side pocket, probably. Let's see. Yep. He's got to come with something here because he's pretty straight on this five in the side pocket. And he's left himself a little bit of cut here. It's makeable. Oof, close to his work again. Didn't miss that side pocket by much. We're going to see a little draw here, or big draw, I should say. I was uh, extolling the virtues of this new room earlier. Uh, they're open from 11 till uh, way after midnight. Manny got perfect on the nine there. And uh, had a beautiful burger here today, and it was a little above the average of the average burger. Full bar. They're playing on a brand new Olhausen table. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not, I haven't tried it yet. I, I'm, trying get, I'm trying to get my chat back up first. 6 3 to George Sansucci. Manny Chow's starting a comeback here. Made a nice ball there. Gonna, he made the one again and got jammed on the two. So he's going to have to push out here. Which puts George in the driving seat for a couple of minutes. Made two balls on the break. Made the one and the eight. All the balls sitting out in the open. It's just unfortunately one ball between the two and the cue ball. It's a seven. He's just pushing. And you might see George give him this back. taking it. No one ever wants to give it back because they're worried what the guy's going to do with it. He's going to play a safety here. No, he's giving it back to him. It's really a, it's a shot to nothing here. I don't think he's going to try and bank it uptown. He was. He was trying to bank it and got lucky. Oh, did he ever get lucky. He tried to bank up town and uh, definitely wasn't a two-way shot because he could have made it. He the gangster's taking a break. Taking a break and thinking about when he comes back, he's got a no shot and a two. All right, guys, we had uh, refreshed uh, at the modem, and uh, it helped out considerably on this end. Anyway, uh, Ginky is taking a short break, and while he's doing that, we will as well. We'll be right back. We are waiting for uh, Ginky to come back from break. Man, he just went and had a look at that. Uh cue ball just to make sure it didn't go. Be interested in uh, what George is going to do with this when he gets back. Is it, I think. Uh, Jeff, we just got an update. Brandon Schuff is leading four to three right now over GMAC on the table at the top of our screen. While we're on the break, Ray, what do you have coming up next with your uh, shows? What, what tournaments? Next weekend, we're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia. Actually, not even on the weekend. Starting on Thursday, 1,000 added one pocket for Thursday and Friday. And then we'll have 3,000 added nine ball 
for Saturday and Sunday. We'll also have a 10 ball mini 500 added on Friday and a three and two hundred dollar mini on Sunday. You can play in all five events, Jeff, for sixty dollars. Wow, that's five, a that's yeah. similar format to what you had here this weekend, right? Same format here, only uh, low entry fees. Uh, it's, we're calling it the economy buster. <laughs> Five thousand added total for that event. Can people buy you the uh, when you record these shows? Can people contact you and buy the buy D, uh, uh, CDs or DVDs of the matches? Uh, we have uh, yes, we've got DVDs of, um, of most all of our matches available. Uh, we are recording everything in high definition, and uh, those are available. If you'd like to um, order some DVDs, you can uh, just email us at the website, and we will get with you on uh, on getting those out. One hundred percent of all of our DVD sales will go towards uh, tech support. Is the website uh, poolactiontv.com or is it another website? Yes, poolactiontv.com. That's an easy one to remember, guys. All right, uh, Ginky's back in the arena. Yeah. It looks like he obviously has enough. He can go past the side of the six and catch it off the rail. Catches it and makes it. This is going to be a great shot. Looks, yeah, no, he's going to have to like swerve this. When this comes off the cushion, it's going to have a load of left on it. Oh, that was a great shot! Great shot! Wow, awesome! Oh, that was a really great shot. He had to swerve that round. Hit it perfect and played lovely safety. Manny just said in Peruvian, oh my God, I never thought he'd do that. I don't speak Peruvian, so I can't actually say the word. <laughs> I'm not even sure if there is Peruvian. It's probably Spanish, correct? I'm sure it's just Spanish. You know, I think he might be right. I think yeah, he is from Peru. No, he is from Peru, but I, I don't think there's Peruvian. I think it's just Spanish, right? I'm sure. I'll have to ask him afterwards. He is Peruvian, but I think he speaks Spanish. Sorry about that guy. Was trying to he reverse that off the cushion, tried to catch the side of it, went across twice, still didn't hit it. If you're just tuning in, this is Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck. We're here at Q9 in Levittown, New York. This is the Ozone Old House and Billiards Classic Tour Stop. I'm joined in the booth right now by Jeff Conway, with uh, does some work with the New York City Grind. Uh, Allison Fisher has stepped away for just a moment. I uh, believe she will be rejoining us here shortly. Yeah, she's busy at the moment. She's taking photographs, and uh, you get the chance to go on in nycgrind.com. Uh, great coverage of all the events, all the pool events, not just local, but throughout the country. Next big one we'll be covering, of course, will be the uh, U.S. Open. Great photo gallery and uh, good stories. So, yeah, look forward to those, Jeff. The players love it because they get the, the the players that are in the tournament. They get to look at the gallery and see you know, loads of shots of themselves, which you can print out, print them, print them out as much as you like. So, in the meantime, Kinky's broke, not broke. Uh, got handed that ball in hand and he's running out.
He looks really in total control. I, 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 you know, Manny called him up as six three, but if he wins this one, seven seven three is pretty convincing. It's a race to eleven, right? Race still, still a race to eleven. Race to eleven on both yeah, sides, right? Yeah. I thought maybe the final might have been thirteen, but it's because it's double elimination, I guess. He would have liked to have been a little further downtown. There's Manny contemplating. Wondering when he's going to get back to the table. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, he definitely wanted to be further down the table with this. He's giving it a good look. I don't see any problems here. goes up 7-3 Ray that's a pretty convincing lead again uh, Genki's got to beat Manny twice Manny did win the hot seat yeah and you actually I've, I remember Dennis in a tournament recently where you know, he had to he had to be beaten twice and he lost the first one but killed the guy the second one so uh, you never know you know you're getting that second set, it's a different set. Yeah, he's breaking over to the left again. This is where he's been having much, most success. He's come up dry again. No, he's made the four. Well, these are all sitting pretty. Just this is probably his hardest shot here. Is just make the one and get out of dodge. Don't, doesn't want to make contact with the six. And once he if he get on the two here, I think this is uh, an easy run out rack, Ray. The five's not on that cushion, it's sitting right in that pocket. So. He's still taking his time here. Just going to come back down between the seven and the six. came off the side cushion. That's okay. Yeah, just wants to be up past the center pocket. Five does go into the side pocket. It looks on the monitor like it's uh, pretty tight to that cushion, but it actually goes straight in that pocket. Let's reverse this a bit. Yeah, perfect. A little farther than what he wanted. Probably going to go down and come back for this. I don't think he wants to be messing with drawing here. Yeah, he just took what he got there and just nudged it in. It's definitely been going with the break. Whoever breaks has mostly been running out. forward a tad here. Stops it. Come back 
come back and play this in the side pocket. Manny's looking a little frustrated. Ray said earlier he still uh, can win this. He only has to win the next set. Manny gave him that shot. I think Manny's probably given up on this set, to be honest. That's what sometimes happens. Like, let's just get this over. Let's get on with the second set. I don't know, Jeff. I wouldn't count Manny out here. Well, he's got to get back to the table, but uh, if he gets back to the table, he can do it, that's for sure. But the way it's going with the break... George has switched sides again. He, he did make one ball on the break last time, but it dropped in right at the last second, so he's gone back to the right. Oh. So he's made two balls. And unfortunately, he's right on the cushion, on the bottom cushion. Long shot on the one. Again, this first shot's the hardest one in the, the rack. So be careful here, he's got a little angle, he doesn't want to get blocked by the four. Yeah, that was a problem shot. Wow. He had to muscle that because he wanted to get back down on the three, and in fact, had he had made the one, he wouldn't have had a shot on the three, so Manny gets his chance. Like you were saying, he now has a chance. He wins this game, 8-4, another couple, 8-6. He can still come back. Nice. Be careful here with the nine sitting next to the three. He's, he's got to get out of dodge here for the four. He might just stop this right where it is. That was a great shot. That was a great shot. I thought for sure he was going to hit the nine ball there, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, I thought he was going to like maybe just stop it and take what he got, but he's, you know, he's perfect now. And just draw this, either come off the cushion or just draw this down for the five. Or he, he, he might even play the five-nine combo here. Don't be surprised if he comes further out. No, he's going to play the five. He's got a little angle. Can't wait to push that bead over. I think he's uh, a little mad at himself there. Yeah, this one's all over. And Manny gets to the table and gets a little bit of practice, which is important, because he was getting rusty there in his chair. Theatrics there. I'm not sure what that was about, but it doesn't matter. That's good. That's 8 4 now to Manny Chow. Uh, sorry, to George Sansucci. Manny keeping it real. Yeah, 8 4. And breaking. Winner break format from anywhere in the. anywhere above the head string. So you really want to get to be breaking. Uh, most of them, like, not many, not been many dry breaks. It's been a long day for the gangster. Been fighting all day. Been down in most of his matches on the lo on the <laughs> losers side bracket. Wow, Manny 
he just scratched. George just took his headsets off. I don't know quite the significance of that, but he took his headsets off. Maybe his maybe. batteries ran out. So maybe maybe they were motivating tapes and he thinks he doesn't need them anymore now. I think it just says, you can do it, Ginky, you can do it, Ginky. I think it's just a loop. No, I'm just joking. Got a little angle here. I think you're going to see him follow this round and come back across the sort of centre of the table. Oh, he can do whatever he likes. He's got ball in hand. Forgetting he got ball in hand there. side pocket but eight and a six are there so he's got to be careful he doesn't get blocked by him so I'm gonna see him come down the uh, looking at the monitor the right hand side I think got to be careful and that's the problem he did exactly that got blocked by the six got himself in a mess there he was looking for like a six inch space there and that was a pretty difficult shot I see him jump this. Yeah, he's going for the jump stick. And it looks like the 5-9 is a possibility. So I think if he makes this, he'd just like to run forward a little bit. Just hit it just a tad above centre. Let's see what he's doing here. If you're just tuning in, this is uh, Ray Hansen, your host, and uh, joined in the booth right now by Jeff Conway with uh, the New York City Grind. Jeff's also got a uh, cool little product he's been working on, the London Bridge, a new bridge. Uh, you can check that out. Uh, I believe you got a website, don't you, Jeff? Yeah, London Br LondonBridgeBilliards.com. LondonBridgeBilliards.com. Yeah, check it out. Uh, it's a uh, Pretty cool item. Uh, I like the way it connects uh, to the to the queue. Well, yeah, the unique part about it, it's got a, uh, a a sort of plastic tube that comes off the bridge itself with a rubber grommet on it, and uh, when you push the either you know, a brake stick or a house queue into it, it's uh, it's very rigid. So when you're using it, it doesn't flex and bend around like some of the others. So. Everybody, you know, everybody who's tried it, it's been tried out. It's it's endorsed by Alison Fisher and Daryl Peach. Um, it's called the London Bridge because the four people involved with it are all from uh, England. So I decided to give it a little English flair. And uh, uh, I'm showing it big at the U.S. Open. It's already on the market. It's been selling quite well for a few weeks. And Manny just. Oh, he almost scratched in the side. I'm not sure what he was trying there. So look for it down at the US Open if you're down there. And if uh, you want to purchase one, or look at the website, uh, LondonBridgeBilliards.com. There's a, quite a nice little descriptive video there that uh, was done for me by a friend, and it's, uh, it's pretty cute. Have a look. have any idea what that was about Ray that uh, he almost scratched and I think he was trying some sort of safety but no idea yeah it looked like he was trying to get the four down of the inner rail yeah he obviously couldn't see enough of it to make it in the side pocket a little bit safe here no good he uh, came off the nine left a shot there yeah you can see that
good shot by Manny. Well, I'll tell you what, Manny's glad to be back at the table because after that... Uh, For that shot he played earlier, I didn't think I don't think he thought he was going to get back at the table, but uh, going to have to go two or three rails here. He's going to play this in the side. And I guess he can just draw this back a little bit. No, he's going to go around. Two, three. And then just draw this down to the bottom rail. Eight five is. Uh, Get off that cushion. Still makeable, but he'd, he'd rather not be on that cushion. Good. Well, that was uh, one that got away for Ginky. Uh, after that um, safety that didn't work out by Manny, um, that game was Ginky's and uh, played a bad safe. That Manny back in, now it's 8-5. It's 8-5 to George Sansucci. 8-5 is uh, much better than 8-3, so it's coming, getting strong here. Yeah, you can never count Manny out, i tell you that. Yeah, he's feeling good right now. Right now he's thinking, you know what? And it's 8-5. It's 8-5, right, Ray? Yes, 8-5. We'll get that score updated. And one more. 8-6 is getting nearer. What have we got here? Well, he made, made the one ball. Made two balls. Made the one ball. What else did he make, guys? Four ball. Made the one and the four. No, he made the no, not the one and the four. Just made the one ball on the break. Just made the two. giving predictions because sometimes it's the kiss of death but uh, the way the balls are sitting I think uh, Manny should run this rack out so his only problem here he just doesn't want to run too far down the table so he's blocked out by the seven Got a lot of room to work with here. Doing a little ballet dance there. What is? Yeah, that'll work. Now it's difficult to see on the monitor, but he might just stop this right in his tracks, right where it is. Yeah, that'll work. Well, so you're soon going to see Manny. Uh, trailing by two games. Yeah, Ginky gives him that nine ball. So now George is only up by two games. Man, he's come back from eight, three down. To eight six, so that's a pretty convincing. Manny is turn the king of, of king of comeback this yeah. event, and of course he'd love to win this set because then he's uh, it's over. He doesn't have to wait for another set. So Ginky has to win two sets to beat him, which is sort of only right. You've come back from the loser's side, so I guess you've got to work a little harder for it. 
some tournaments it's just you know race one race but this particular organizer makes it a race to two and George is the one sitting in his chair getting rusty the man is breaking from the right the two and the eight and a tough shot on the one ball but he can see it at least yeah I think we're going to see a safety here he's going to send the cue ball down behind the nine he's looking to see if it goes in the center pocket he banks really really good it's, it looks like it's almost on the cushion he might, he might even be banking this There it is. Yeah, he can bank. I don't know whether he actually goes to a bank and puts money in it, but he's uh, very good at banking. <laughs> Jeff, you made it funny. Yeah, tried, I slide him in now and again. Careful. How's that for some touch? Yeah. A little close to his work there. Might play a might play the carol and make the seven here. Yeah. yeah, he's looking at the carom, which is on, but he's gotta be gotta think what his next shot is. Yeah. And he just Manny wears a glove. Not all the pros wear gloves. Not many, actually, not many of the pros wear gloves. Mike Davis. That's a good shot. Yep, great shot. Nicely on the five. Slide up for the six. He might even slide up and play the six. No, he's. I think he's going to walk around and have a look because the six goes in the side. No, he's going to play it uptown. I didn't like that. I would think I'd rather him have come uptown and played that in the side and gone down for the nine than have to. Oh, that's good. Uh, see? Yep. I regret that. But he didn't leave the gangster much here. This is no. This is no gimme. funny you know you get you get a shot in your mind and I, I think if he'd have walked up town and looked and saw that that went straight in the side pocket I think he would have run the ball further up and then played the six in the side and run back down for the nine but well hindsight's wonderful afterwards now even though Ginky's but at the table this is no gimme it's makeable perfect on the nine though look at that he got one bit right oh man he's lucky to be back at the table man I don't know what you do here well he might I think he might even be trying to cut this in he banked it How'd he get great that? shot uh, he look, he's not quite where he wants to be on the nine, but he goes in the side pocket. He's got to take his time over this shot. This is no gimme, folks. Yeah, that's a great shot. Nailed it. Wow. Yeah. Manny Chow. Yeah. And he made a mistake and got away with it. That's amazing. That's twice now. Two racks in a row made a mistake, got away with it. 
eight seven. Now Ginky's thinking, what do I have to do to beat this guy? The man is feeling really good now. Right now he's thinking one more and I'm level. It's all over. Yeah, four more, it's done. Yeah. maybe show a camera shot of Ginky sitting there because I don't think he's going to be in uh, yeah Ginky's looking up to the gods the full gods I heard a ball drop he's just scratched wow tough action wow he put a lot of effort into that one three made two balls on the break made the three and the four. Made the three and the four on the break. And scratched. Uh, George is the wrong side of the five there. to look at this one long and hard. You can reverse this across the table, but it's got to be careful it doesn't hit the eight. You might be going around the table. Yeah, that's makeable. Not what he wanted, but it's makeable. And we'll give him the angle to run back for the seven. He definitely wants this rack. He doesn't want to let Manny get out of his seat again, this rack, Ray. Missed it. Wow, and left a shot for Manny here. And it's, oh, yeah, it's oh. just stopped in time. I think he's... Looks close, actually, on the monitor. It looks close. Do we have another shot of that, Ray? Is there any chance we could see another shot of it? Yeah, it looks... I don't know. He doesn't need much angle to make it. He doesn't need much angle to make it. I think that goes. I think he can get past the eight. He might have to spin it in. He's going to have a tough shot on the seven. Hole. Yeah. But you can't get there from here. Isn't that what they say? Some places? Let's see. Yeah, he just took took what he could get out of that. That's Man, he hit that great. Yeah. Well, the Kings to let that one get away because this this uh, match could be closing eight eight here. Just got out of position on that five ball, got the wrong side of the five. God, he missed it. Oh my God! Wow, that was a big surprise there. That he had no reason to miss. Well, I know we all missed. But, uh, wow. Well, George Sansushi Ginky moving one rack closer, nine to seven now. He's two more racks, and then he has to do it all over again. So you're in for a treat, guys. It's not going to finish at the end of this set if George wins. If George wins you're going to be treated to another race to 11, which means you're going to be up, uh, oh my God. Another couple hours. Yeah, 2 o'clock. So if you're on the West Coast, that's good. If you're on the East Coast, I guess you don't go to work in the morning. Oh, pool players don't go to work in the morning, do they? I forgot. <laughs> well, there we 
go. Right. Breaking from the left again. Yeah, rack number 17. Well, he split them wide open. But nothing down. Nothing down. Well, he can swerve this. I don't think he's going to be pushing on this shot. I think he's going to swerve this and see if he can make it. Because the two's sitting over the pocket, so as long as he makes it, he'll have a shot. Now he's going to jump. A lot of distance. See how high he gets. Uh, not so good. Only scratched. Unbelievable. Wow. I think on reflection, he might think about now. I wish I'd swerved and made that. Just a long swerve down the table. Once you go airborne. Well, again, the balls are sitting out pretty. You're looking at it right at this moment. George is out, but we've seen misses before, but nice on the two. Right, English, slide up for the three. Four sitting near the three. Four to the five, just got to watch the six. This table was a pretty fast Ray, because that uh, that ran further than I thought it was going to run. There's Manny. What did I do? Stop shot here, probably. Man, he's delving into his bag for something. Oh, that was a good shot there. Well, it's been a little uh, comedy of errors here, Ray, this last couple of games, which could have really should have gone the other way, right? Yeah, I agree, Jeff. Uh, both players uh, showing a little fatigue here. Well, it's been a long day, right? For Ginky, definitely. Not so much for Manny. Manny was sitting around quite a while this evening, not playing. This is big for big, for, big for George. Ten seven. He's one more. At this point, Manny definitely thinking, let's just get this one over. This one, I might even give you a tight rack, George. He's thinking. Ginky on the hill. Yeah. It tightening up. The one ball just come off a little. Let's see if we could see a nine on the snap here, right? I think I've only seen about one today. I don't think I've seen any more. Have you seen any? Can't remember a single one, actually. Yeah, I saw one, but it might have been on not the TV table because I've been watching a few of the other matches.
nothing on the break. One goes in the side. Careful. Yeah. Didn't really want to hit that six there, but the angle he's got is pretty good for the getting down for the three. Oh, he overcut that. I think Manny's the one getting a little tired here. Wow. It's funny, when Ginky was uh, practicing, he actually set this exact shot up as a practice shot just before the match started. That's funny. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe it was a shot he missed earlier, but exactly this shot. He just trimmed it in. Perfect. Definitely got the speed down pretty good on this table. Four ball. Let's draw back out for the five in the same pocket. up for the six. Yeah, he's hitting everything really sweet at the moment. He's, he's got to do it two sets in a row, which uh, see if his stamina holds up here, Ray. What do you think? There and this looks like uh, first set. Ginky. I think he's going to draw this back here. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Gives him that. First set to Ginky. 11 7. I guess there's going to be a short break now, Ray. Yeah, short break. We're going to be right back uh, with uh, more action. Stay with us, folks. <laughs> 